Gopher's about to take me 1,200 metres in altitude to the largest glacier in this country. This is how I like the holiday. The Tasman Glacier crawls slowly down the side of Mount Cook and is about a three hour drive from Queenstown. Meet my guide, Tex. According to him, the glacier is constantly moving all the time, so you really never know what to expect coming up here. Can you see the clear effects of global warming coming up here each day on the glacier? Every day, and, and it's not in terms of hundreds of years and thousands of years. We're talking in our lifetimes. We're talking week by week. In the front or the end of this place here, we can lose anywhere from 30 meters to 300 meters in a year. Let me just say one thing real quick before we start. We're on a glacier and it is as warm as anything. It's a yeah. I feel like I can take my shirt off and sunbank. Yeah. Everything's melting. There is no snow to yeah. protect the ice out here. Wow. It is just melting before our eyes right now. It's a really comfortable climate and it's so massive. It's just kind of, it feels like a fake wallpaper around <laughs> you. And, and there's nobody out here with no. us right now. This is it. It's hard to describe the feeling of just how vast the glacier is. It's also amplified because our group of five are the only ones up here. To give you some stats, it's an impressive four kilometers wide and 27 kilometers long. We were talking about the temperature just before. If you're hot, imagine being this glacier. Do these go deep? Some of these get very deep. We're talking about two to 300 meters of ice underneath our feet. So some of them can potentially be extremely deep. Walking along the glacier, I found myself constantly sidestepping giant holes in the ice that seemed to go down forever. Then Tex had an idea. Don't tell me we're going in there. No, we're going in here. What is that? This is it. So this is a Moulin. French word for mill, all right? So what's happening is you can hear the water down there? Yeah. This is constantly changing. It's constantly getting chewed out, melted out from the flowing water. Yeah. This is our entrance, and this thing will expand as soon as we're in the inside. And this is OK for us to go in? Oh, you're, you're in good hands, Jason. All right. You're in good hands. All right, crew, check this out. It's like I'm in a cloud. <laughs> this is so good. Take a look around. I feel like I'm Superman in his, like, cave, you know? <laughs> oh. And the crazy thing is, is like you said earlier, in, in a week, this might all be gone. It might all be gone, or it might be bigger, or it might be deeper. We don't know. Unreal. So you've got to get here to experience it, because every time it's going to be unique. Wow. You're not going to go down there, are you? Well, I think we should head to the back. In there? Yes. Oh, my God. Come on. All right. Come on. <laughs> As I reluctantly head deeper under the glacier, I will remind you one more time that this entire thing is melting and moving before our eyes. So make sure to come and experience it now before it's too late.